Hey guys, Pedro here to tell you about the latest from Ectomorph Vivid Black, out December 8th on AFM Records. This album has 10 tracks, 34 minutes in length, and this is the band's 16th full-length studio album. They are a Hungarian groove nu metal band. The design of this record and the length of this record work as one in order to make the experience very compact and very balanced. But just because it's compact and balanced, it doesn't mean that the album becomes repetitive. This is still a very dynamic and fluid record with a lot of ups and downs, a lot of different changes from songs to songs, and overall you feel the mobility that the album offers, not just forward, but also upwards and downwards. Obviously there is a signature sound throughout the entire record that adds to that overall balance that makes the album feel cohesive. But like I said, there's enough volatility, there's enough changes in intensity and aggression within songs and from song to song that allow this album to be cohesive, balanced, but also very dynamic and fluid. Once you get into that sound, you start to see that fingerprint sound coming forward and that fingerprint sound lays on two main pillars. One, the drums, the other, the guitars. The drum sound on this record is heavy, thunderous, powerful, really punchy. I don't think there's a single track on this record where you don't feel the power, the energy, the heaviness, the strength of the drum sound. Always very thick, always very dense, adding a lot of overall volume to the tracks, making the songs feel at times almost relentless. But it's part of their DNA and it's a part of their DNA that's well emphasized in the overall sound experience of this record. The key element to it is that you're able to hear it, feel it, and digest it, and that drum sound doesn't completely overshadow all of the other elements. You can still hear the bass popping through, and you can still see the impact of the guitars. It's really important to create an album that has drums that drive the experience in this kind of direction, but still allowing them to feel like they merge perfectly with the other elements in order to make more of a robust experience, a dense experience as far as the overall sound is concerned. Now the other pillar, the guitars, I really enjoy the guitar sound on this record. Very groovy at times, very direct, uh, heavy as well, aggressive, intense, mixing in a little bit of that more groove style metal with some more straightforward new metal styling riffs. So it's an album that has some versatility on the guitars and that versatility is what allows you to see the ebbs and flows as you progress throughout this record without necessarily changing the overall signature sound of the album. A signature sound that has density at its core with these two elements creating that density, but it also allows you to see a little bit of ruggedness around the edges. The production of this album doesn't allow the sound to be completely crisp and clean from one end to the other. It rather feels like it has a lot more to give in the center of the sound, and then as the sound progresses, as the sound expands, you start to see some rugged elements showing off around the edges. This creates that density, this creates a different style of intensity, this creates a different style of aggression, merging different elements in order to create an experience that always feels like it's pushing the listener against the wall and it's right on your face. Vocally, you feel exactly the same way. This album is almost unhinged at times. Uh, the mixture between the clean vocals and the heavier sounding vocals is well managed throughout the entire album. I honestly felt like we got the best out of both worlds and the dynamic between the two also adds movement, also adds life to how this record progresses and how the song progresses. But I felt that the heavier side of the vocal range, like I said, at times comes almost unhinged. It emphasizes a lot better the intensity and the aggression of the sound, but not vocally, but also enhances the intensity aggression of the lyrical content. So having that feeling of losing control with that style of vocals works well because you're able to get away with it. You don't have to really define it. You don't have to really balance that it out as much as you would have to with the clean vocals that on this record offer a lot of melancholy. They offer a lot of sadness. They come across slightly somber, but very, very introspective. So there's a little bit of a Jacqueline Hyde 
in the sound and in the vocal performance, which allows those two elements to really merge well with one another. A record that it's overall very meaty, that it's very groovy, that it's very heavy, and I wasn't disappointed at all. I think understanding the style, understanding the sound, understanding what you want out of this record, knowing that the album is gonna be very dense and how the sound comes across, not as textured, not as layered, but dense, pushing this album into the 34 minute mark, it's perfect. Anything beyond that, anything touching 40, 45 minutes would have been overbearing. You wanna get this record in your hands, you wanna to listen to it, you want the experience to be one that goes by quickly so that you can digest the album better and it doesn't overstay its welcome. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I wanna start off with Die. I love that this track has this stop and go momentum. It, it hits you, it goes back. It hits you, it goes back. Then it starts to build up from there into a more heavier linear sound. And then you start to feel like it's going in a different direction once it moves into a more melancholic experience in the chorus. The clean vocals emphasize that melancholy of the chorus and that push, that gradual movement from heaviness, uh, stop and go heaviness to the more intense aggression it's a really nice way of creating an album that almost feels like it has three different parts, uh, a song that has three different parts to it, but makes the song um, have more movement. It makes the song feel like it's growing and expanding. So it adds a lot of quality to how the track comes across and it makes the heavier sides of this song feel even heavier. It really enhances that element. Never Be The Same Again, this is one of my favorite songs on this record. Never mind the top three, I would put this song maybe even at number one. It's just a great track all around, uh, a groovier song, a song that doesn't have that uh, same drum impact that almost feels overpowering. The, the overall experience of this track is more balanced. You feel the impact of the drums, but you also feel the versatility coming out of the guitars with the heaviness and the grooviness. Uh, the drums, like I said, not as dominant, so you're able to see more movement out of the guitars. You're able to see more fluidity out of the guitars, which gives them more room to breathe. It gives them more room to expand, um, giving the song a, a different vibe, giving the song a different nature, but not completely disconnecting from a song like Die, where the heaviness is still there, the DNA soundscape is still there. It's just having different attributes jumping into the forefront, which in other songs are perhaps a little bit more of a layer hidden beneath something else. So it's a track that goes back to that clean vocals, heavier side vocals, using the clean vocals in the chorus to add a sense of somberness to the track, and then coming in with the heavier vocals in order to inject that overall aggression, once again, that Jacqueline Hyde element alive and well in this song. And then definitely last but not least, Fade Away. This is a track that is also very groovy, but the difference between Fade Away and Never Be The Same Again is that Fade Away allows the bass sound to pop a little bit more in the mix. It becomes a little bit more noticeable, the impact that it has, and it adds a lot more texture to the overall song. So it's not as versatile, it doesn't push you uh, in a lot of different directions because it feels like the bass sound, by coming a little bit more through in the mix, is the glue or is the bungee cord that brings everything back. When things are starting to feel like they're maybe moving a little bit out of, of the path that's been uh, trailblazed, it brings it back into that same path. So I really enjoy that aspect of it. It allow you to use a lot of the same elements that never be the same again uses it, but by adding that base creates a different experience. So you're using the same ingredients, just changing the recipe ever so slightly in order to end up with a much different meal altogether. Great track, very dynamic as well. This is it, Ectomorph Vivid Black, out December 8 on AFM Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Hit me up in the comment section. I'll see you all at the next video.